So I think one reason for a lack of intimacy with self is self-judgment. If you are convinced that you are bad and shameful, then you're not going to want to actually look at that. You're going to want to avoid yourself. And there is so much in our environment that tells us that we are bad and shameful. I mean, it's built into schooling. It's built into modern parenting. This idea that to become a good human being, you have to overcome your nature. When parents use punishment and approval, the withholding of approval or the granting of approval to control their children, they tap into the basic, like the most primal fear of a mammal. And in order to prove yourself good, you will do anything. You will do anything to earn this conditional approval. You will pretend to be what you are not. And this becomes a habit of pretending to be what we are not. Maybe on one level believing our self-image, but on a deeper level feeling like a fraud. As long as there's this deep conviction that you are a fraud, that you are a terrible person pretending to be good, it might be unconscious. This is what's true of the narcissist. The narcissist acts like they're God's gift to humankind, but underneath it, because they were never validated for who they really were, but only for what they appeared to be, they have a deep-seated conviction of their own worthlessness. And as long as that is in place, and I think to almost anybody who's grown up in our society, there's something of that, then it's going to be really hard to be intimate with yourself because you're afraid. You're afraid of what you'll see. You're afraid that you'll, you'll encounter something unacceptable. You know, how to exit this trap, there's two things. One is simply to see what the trap is, and the other is not something that you can do yourself, but it's something that is done to you, which is when somebody sees through you and loves you anyway. The way that we learn self-love, unconditional self-love, is by being unconditionally loved, which means that the elevation of our consciousness is a group activity. It's not something that we achieve. It's something that we give and receive and thereby collectively evolve.